Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it's a red day recap for me. I'm going to show you the live trade. I captured it all, screen recorder, and we're going to break it all down. I just want to show you my entry, what type of entry it was, and then ultimately I'll show you what happened on my trade. I traded AMD today, and as a lot of you know, I'm risking $360 as my R value with the possibility of making 900. 2.5 to one reward to risk ratio is what I like to do. And let me just show you the setup this morning. So if I back this up just a tiny bit, we'll ignore that crazy candle for a second. You can see in here that, and actually that's our last, this candle right here was the 915 candle. So this tiny little guy, let me see if I can make it look a little better. So this candle, this doji right here, that candle was the last pre-market candle, and I'm looking to go short below that low, 10 cents below that low. But as you can see, we opened up, we bounced around, and then ultimately, boom, we got that move. So I got a move in my direction, and then it ultimately reversed on me, and then AMD just went went to the moon today. So anyone playing this long did really, really well today. Let's show you the video. Um, the takeaway from today is going to be we kept our losses small, a little over 1R because I got a little bit of slippage that you're going to see in this video. We set out our profit. We didn't get emotional. We just said we're going short. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we lose one unit. We move on to tomorrow. So let me show you this video real quick. I'm going to hit play on this. So the nice thing that I like about this setup is that it opened higher. It gapped up and moved higher. What this does is this gives the market a minute or so to accumulate a lot of volume, really tighten the bid-ask spread. It just makes the trading conditions for a fill even better. So you can see I've got my order to go short at 88.16, and I'm just waiting to see if we're even going to go short. If this goes long, I'm 100% okay just saying goodbye to it, and I'll be back tomorrow. But I kept waiting. I was seeing that tall wick. We're getting a lot of selling pressure here. And I thought, you know what, maybe we will. Maybe we'll get a short play here. So we'll just keep watching. 88.16 is my sell stop limit. My stop limit order is 10 cents wide, so I'll accept a price between 88.16 and 88.06. And it sort of hung here for a minute, and I definitely thought it was just gonna rest and then go. And then it sort of decided to just kind of dump right there. And here we go, we're about to get short. So you'll see over here what my fill price is once I get triggered. And it's a pretty it's a pretty decent fill. So I was accepting between 88.16 and 88.06, and I got 88.12. So two, if I take 40 cents off that, we'll go to 292.827. So if I saw 87.72, then I would move my stop from where it is to break even, but it just never got there. I got a little bit of progress. I really like this candle. This is a very bearish candle, but there are some support levels here and it did bounce off that support. So that could be contributing to that, people buying it right there. Turned into a doji and I started thinking, boy, it's just acting like it wants to move higher. It doesn't really feel like it wants to move lower. So just gonna wait and see. Stop loss at 88.43 and now watch this violent move. Boom, right there. Really hard push to the upside. Let me back that up just a tiny bit. This was, was interesting. So 88.43 is where my stop was. And then when you see this violent move, right there, wow, and look at this. I got filled at 88.43 and a half. Let me make sure that's correct. Let me look at my summary here. 88.43 and a half. So that trade only gave me about a half, a little over a half a penny in slippage. If this would have been on the Thinkorswim platform, and I'm sorry to keep railing against Thinkorswim in TD Ameritrade, but I would have had a ton of slippage on that trade. I got a half a penny in that violent move that you just saw. That's, that's incredible. I mean, that's just... That was a really violent move. And granted, yes, it did push and then back off, so that could have contributed. 
but very happy with that fill price. So today was just a failed short that bounced at the support level. And I know some of you will say, well, then why didn't you wait to see if it breaks that support level? Or why did you take it short into a support level? And my reasoning behind this, and I, I think this is important for just people to feel and to know, is that my opinion on this is that the markets are a 50-50 world. Half of the time, this support's going to break and it's going to go. Half the time, it's going to bounce. So I don't really rely so much on the technical analysis of my trades as I do the reward to risk ratio. As long as every time I win, if half the time I win two and a half units and the other half of the time I, win, I lose one unit, that's a profitable strategy for me and I'm totally good with it. So great trade. It was fine. I lost one unit. We'll be back tomorrow. We've got four more days to trade this week, so we'll see how that goes. I am going to flip over here just to show you this summary again. So it was another 1,200 share short with a 1,200 share cover, and I got short at 88.12 and change, and then got covered um, at a loss at 88.43 and a half. So realized PL lost $385 today, um, but you've got these commissions coming out $14.30 for the the 1200 share buy and sell. And that was sort of my day. Um, I do want to know if you took AMD long today because, oh my goodness, if you did, you probably did really well if you held it for more than 15 minutes. So I hope your day went really, really well. My day was short, sort of short. Um, that didn't take very long to execute. I think total was about four minutes I was in the trade. Um, I did speed up this video to keep it a little brief for you all. So it was about two minutes, but you can see I'm out and it's 7.33 and 57 seconds. So very quick day for me. Hope you guys had a green day. Drop me a comment below. Let me know how it went. Let me know if you trade AMD. And I want to thank everyone for such a successful live stream yesterday. That was, or on Saturday, sorry. It was an amazing live stream. If you want the live, uh, or the replay is on the YouTube channel now, so you can check that out. If you guys want a TraderView account so you can track your trades like I do, I upload all my trades to TraderView.com. That's with the V-U-E, not V-I-E-W. Go to the banner of the YouTube channel or the description of this video. You'll see a TraderView link. Click that link, sign up for an account. It'll help support the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider sub subscribing. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And we do have a private Facebook group that is linked in the banner of the YouTube channel as well as the description. Come over and join us. I'll get you approved. Hope everyone had a green day, and we'll see you tomorrow.